Can you tell me what led you to start rapping? It was when I saw MC Light's Poor Georgie video. That's when I knew what I wanted to do. Um, she was the first woman for me that I saw that could rhyme and to me she did it as well as the guys. Like I was, I was stuck, you know? I was like, wow, this is what I want to do. Cause I already had a love for hip hop, but to see a woman do it and to do it like that, that's when I knew this is what I wanted to do. And you know, it wasn't until I was in college that I had the courage to even go for it. But, you know, I would, I would listen to rhymes and study them and write poetry, but it wasn't until college, you know, I got around the right people. They were like, yo, just try it, have fun. Cause the confidence wasn't there, but uh -huh. the love for it was. So I did it, um, it felt good. It felt natural, you know, it, it was something like, I felt like this is where I found my peace. Like, you know, anything you hold in, you can get out, you know, happy, sad, angry, whatever. And when I met Ninth in 2005, he heard the first two songs I, I wrote or recorded. And he was like, wow, you're a star. And I'm like, a star? He's like, you just got some things to work on. Mm -hmm. And that was all I needed to hear. You know, somebody, you know, that's legendary like that and had worked with my favorite artist, Jay-Z, and was from North Carolina, who was an example of, you know, being from North Carolina, you can really do this. You don't have to move to New York. You don't yeah. have to be from New York. Like. We have a voice too, so you know that was it. So, were there any other women that were major influences oh. on, you know? Yeah, MC Light was the first one, but after that, you know, it was Queen Latifah, and um, I liked Foxy and Little Kim. Lauren Hill was my biggest inspiration of all. It was, I don't know what it was exactly that she stood out from everybody else. Maybe it was her honesty, um, you know, just her style too like I, I loved her style you know I can't sing but the singing and rapping thing yeah. like you, you cannot can't love that. that but you know I think it was just her honesty you know too um and you know Missy Elliott Jean Grey Jean Grey is probably after Lauren as far as influences um after Lauren and MC Light so yeah it was a lot but I I, I drew from everybody um you know outside of just women you know I, I love Jay-Z He's at the top of my list. Uh, Nas, Biggie, Most Def and Common, they were real big influences. Um, Snoop, you know, I listen to Snoop too. So even on the East Coast, you know, we listen to everything in North Carolina, you know, Southern, from the North, Midwest, it didn't matter. So I drew from everything. Even Luther Vandross and Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. Like I just love music. Um, so. so describe being signed to Ninth Wonder. Like how did it, how did that end up happening? It happened. After I, I met him in 05, um, you know, he would invite us to his house to listen to beats. We'd, you know, come to the studio just to record. And, you know, I just, I got to be real comfortable around him. Like, you know, he knew me, he knew my vision, he knew what I wanted to do. He didn't want to change that, he just wanted to enhance it. And, you know, we just, we were, we connected on that level, you know, as far as where to take me. Um, but it wasn't until 2008, uh, I got a manager who happened to be his best friend. And the first question he asked me was like, well, let me know what you want to do short term, what you want to do long term. And I said, well, I know Knife has a new label he started. I'm like, I really like to sign with him. So we had a meeting. A meeting lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. He was like, I'd, I'd love to have you. And that's just how it started. You know, we had already had this relationship, you know, this history. Um, and that was it. Who else was signed to the label at that, that time, time when you were? Um, his first artist was an artist by the name of Big Remo, who's from Winston-Salem, his hometown. Uh, he had an R&B singer at the time by the name of Tyler Woods. Um, I was his third artist that he signed. Uh, after that, it was Sky Zoo and GQ, who's, before he started rapping, who's known as Quentin Thomas. He played for UNC Chapel Hill's 2005 championship team. So we were on Jamla, and he also had a, a sister label by the name of Academy. And the Academy was the Tom Hardy, Actual Proof, uh, TP, Heather Victoria. They were like, oh, I can't remember everybody. But since then, since 2008, you know, we've taken all of it and put it under one umbrella, which is Jamla. And Jamla now is myself, GQ, Big Remo, Hollow. TP, actual proof, and let me see, that was Heather Victoria. So that's the team, along with seven producers who are called the Soul Council. 
Uh, most everybody's from North Carolina, but you know, we have GQ's from Oakland, okay. Attitude's from Chicago, uh, Hollow's originally from New York, Carly Hustle is on our team now, she's our brand relations, uh, director of brand relations, she's in New York, uh, Young Guru is now our director of operations, he's here, so you know, we have a real good team. Okay, so Ninth Wonder teaches a bunch of college courses also, and it's interesting that um, some of you all in JAMLA have a degree um, of some sort. Do you think that has a, an effect on, on the dynamic of the, the entire label or, or just you as an individual or um, what would you say? Being an independent artist, you know, you don't have the luxury of, you know, having somebody do everything for you. So one thing I think, you know, for the ones on the label that have had the chance to go to college, like you have skill sets that, you know, you normally might not learn without having that college experience so you know it's, it's helped me out on the business side you know on the art side you know that just comes naturally you don't have to go to school for that but on the business side you know being on time learning how to send out emails you know little things like that like mm -hmm. that helps a lot um you know but teamwork i think even if you play sports that helps you in being a label i play sports so it really helped me learn how to be a leader was being a captain of your basketball team or learning how, you know, to work in a team environment mm -hmm. and, you know, everything that goes into that, so. What do you think about Charlemagne comparing, you know, to Pimp a Butterfly and, and you know, Sugar Free's influence? I heard, I heard myself. And he acting like he up in here fighting some big murder trial and everybody's in there pointing him out and snitching. He acting like he went to jail. He acting like he, 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 he just, like the whole snitched on theme of it is just like some made up cartoon type shit, you feel me? 